Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Tando. Welcome back to Operation Freedom Briefings. The goal of these week weekly briefings and my weekly radio show, Operation Freedom, is to provide you information the bought-off lamestream fake media will not touch and not present. As far as the radio show, it's free. It's on Sundays, every Sunday, broadcast from Wham Talk 1600's Freedom Bunker in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor, Michigan, from 2 to 5 Eastern. Now, how can you stream the show live and free? You go to DaveJanda.com, right toward the top of the homepage, there's a Listen Live button, hit that. It'll connect you to Wham Talk 1600's streaming service. Hit play, and you're with us. You're with our Freedom family. Great guests, great analysis, information you need to know. You see, the goal of the deep state and their tentacle, the bought-off lamestream fake media, is to keep you, if you will, in the dark. To keep you unaware of what they are doing and how they are doing it. Why? Because their ultimate goal is to strip you of your freedoms and liberties and ultimately destroy what's left of our country. The way they do that and they make you in the way they make you a more vulnerable or an easier target is by not only blocking information from coming your way, but manipulating information to get you on the wrong side, if you will, of the current. And what we try to do is to provide you information through my sources that I've developed over the past 30 years, information to put you ahead of the curve, ahead of the game. We do that on this YouTube channel. We do this on our radio show. We do this on our website, DaveJanda.com, where we have free content, but where the real meat of the matter is, is with our subscription content, with our extra analysis shows, our WTF show every Wednesday, a video show, our video show, Insider Insight, where we bring someone forward from behind the curtain to discuss issues that the fake media does not want you to know about. Why? Because they want to make you more vulnerable. They want you to lose your freedoms and liberties. Why? Because their owners, the deep state, is behind what, what they're pushing out to you in propaganda, if you will. Today what I'd like to do is I'd like to focus on President Trump's America versus Joe Biden and his America, or the puppets behind Biden. I mean, let's face it. All you have to do is watch one or two, if you need further edification, of Joe Biden's basement dwelling ramblings. It's not about Joe Biden. It's about his handlers and who's behind him. I believe he's yet another puppet of the deep state. He's proven this time and time again in the past, and... Uh, I'm sure, if elected, will prove it on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. You know, over the past weekend, our holiday weekend, July 4th holiday weekend, President Trump held two major events. One outstanding event at Mount Rushmore, which he got tremendous grief, both before, during, and after about. Remember before, the fact that he was going to reinstitute and the fireworks around Mount Rushmore along with the governor of South Dakota, Christy Nome, to approve it, well, they were going to be responsible for hundreds of thousands of acres of forest fires because of these fireworks displays. Remember, Obama stopped them, I believe it was in 2010, because of the risk of a fire. Well, you didn't hear about any forest fires afterwards, did you? No, of course not. You just saw some anarchists trying to block freedom-loving people trying to get to the event. And the way that the anarchists did it this time is they disabled their vans. Well, that didn't work out so well. And President Trump gave an outstanding address. And then he held another event based on freedom from the White House on July 4th. The two events were fantastic, but one brief quote that really shows what President Trump's America, as he sees it, is about. 
It's very short. Very short clip. Fantastic speech if you, if you get an opportunity. Watch the entire speech from Mount Rushmore. But here's one clip. Now remember, the bought-off lamestream fake media is putting out through its tentacles, its sources, well, this was a negative speech and there was nothing positive in it. Stop. President Trump from Mount Rushmore. Quote, my fellow citizens, America's destiny is in our sights. America's heroes are embedded, embedded in our hearts. America's future is in our hands. And ladies and gentlemen, the best is yet to come." End quote. I call that pretty positive and very insightful. And then he did something that absolutely tore apart the deep state and their puppets. He spoke about creating an executive order that will form a national park for America's heroes. So, it's brilliant. Okay, anarchists. All right, Marxists. You want to tear down our statues? Well, we're going to do everything we can to prevent that. And in fact, we're going to make it so that if you do do that, you're going to spend at least 10 years in prison. But while you're trying to tear them down and then eventually going to go to prison, I'm going to build, our country's going to build an entire park dedicated with statues to the heroes of American culture. It's a brilliant move. And you knew it was brilliant from the very beginning. Because as soon as that speech ended, the bought-off lamestream fake media went into hyperdrive, went into histrionics. That's how you know that we are, in fact, winning as opposed to, oh, freedom is losing narrative that the some people outside that window in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor still refer to as the mainstream media has been jamming down people's throats. No, no, no. We're winning. And here's why I know we're winning. is because the deep state and their puppets are getting more hysterical, more desperate, more crazed by the day. If they were in fact winning, this would, their attitude, their, their behavior would be drastically different. No, they're losing. And the freedom movement is winning. If you want to know what our country would look like under a Biden sock puppet presidency, because he's just the sock puppet, just as Obama was the sock puppet, and Bill Clinton, and George Bush the second, and George Bush the first, we're all sock puppets for the deep state. Make no mistake about it. But contrast President Trump's vision of America that I read for you that he spoke about at Mount Rushmore. And you want a vision of what Joe Biden's America, the deep state sock puppets vision of America is. Just look at Seattle. Let's just start in Seattle. We'll work our way across the country. Remember the, this mayor of Seattle, Jenny Durkin, globalist extraordinaire. Remember when that Chaz started, when they occupied six square blocks of the Capitol Hill district in, in Seattle, so-called the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, that then morphed into the Capitol Hill Occupation Protest, CHOP. Remember, Durkin came out and said, oh, this is like a street fair. This is a, this is a summer of love. Summer of love. Well, the summer of love 
turned into the summer of killing and looting and rioting and destruction in Seattle in that wonderful independent country of Chaz, Chop, whatever you want to call it. Might as well call it Bidenville. Seattle mayor folds on, quote, summer of love, and quote, moves to dismantle CHOP protest zone after shootings. Faced with growing pressure to crack down on the occupied protest zone following two weekend shootings, Seattle's mayor said that officials will move to wind down blocks long span of city streets taken over several weeks ago. The violence, this is Jenny Durkin, the mayor, the violence was distracting from changes sought by thousands of peaceful protesters seeking to address racial inequality and police brutality. She said the city is working to, well, end the zone. And eventually it did end. It took her, <laughs> took her over a week. But it ended. I think she concluded at one point, she said, quote, the impacts have increased and the safety has decreased. There was never any safety there. Never. It's interesting, she started to talk about the takedown of the Chaz zone about 12 hours after General Paul Vallely came on our radio show Operation Freedom. And he outlined the letter that he had sent to President Trump about bringing in the 82nd Airborne and three battalions and how to do it and how to stage it and how to end this occupation zone in Seattle. Within 12 hours of him doing that and coming on our show and discussing it for the public for the first time, all of a sudden, Jenny Durkin decided, uh-oh, time's up. But Seattle was not alone, as you are well aware. There was rioting and looting and mass mayhem, destruction and death across our country. That's Bidenville. That's what our country would become under the sock puppet Joe Biden as president. Look at what happened in Seattle. We've, we've talked about David Dorn, the 38-year-old police veteran in St. Louis. In fact, President Trump had his family at the White House on July 4th. The bought-off lamestream fake media doesn't want to talk about David Dorn. Black Lives Matter doesn't want to talk about David Dorn. Because you see, with the bought-off lamestream fake media, with Black Lives Matter, it really comes down with to it's as I pointed out before it's not what it should be which is all black lives matter but just some black lives matter you see David Dorn was assaulted murdered by a rioter and a looter of those peaceful protests And he wasn't discussed in the bought-off lamestream fake media to any degree. Because he didn't fit the narrative. He was an individual, black American, who served the city of St. Louis for 38 years. He helped run the youth program to network to youths with the police department in, in St. Louis for years. And he was gunned down by a street thug who was trying to steal a TV from the peaceful protests. 